perhaps you um, you've already got some uh, material that you've already written yourself. So I'll show you how to import that material. So uh, you can import uh, these uh, different formats uh, within um, Pressbooks. So if you've got an EPUB or if you've got um, maybe a manuscript you've been working on for a while uh, within Microsoft Word or open uh, Office documents, um, or you can uh, import from another Pressbooks webbook. So I'll just show you how to do that real quick. So if I go to the uh, Pressbooks directory and uh, I'm going to go to that book that I originally uh, talked about, um, and this is the student work. So I'm going to copy that. Just go here. Uh, sorry, cancel. Import from the URL. So I'm going to begin an import here. So um, say there's a chapter um, uh, that's openly licensed, again, from the Pressbooks directory. Not all material in the Pressbooks directory is openly licensed. Some is always reserved. But of those 5,000 uh, titles in the directory, probably uh, at least 90% of them are openly licensed. Um, but if there was a chapter, well, this is one of my favorites, so I'm just going to import the Rocky Horror Picture Show into my work. Um, so I'll click there. So if it's openly licensed, uh, you can use the import function from an existing Pressbooks to make uh, a copy of that chapter into your own book. So you can see here now that this chapter was brought over. Uh, it's not available in the web unless I uh, specifically um, select it to be viewed in the web. Um, but the actual attribution for this chapter will be pulled over. So because it was openly licensed and that attribution for the chapter will be pulled over. So you'll be okay in terms of uh, uh, using this uh, in a copyright compliant manner. I can change the order of this. So maybe I want it to, to show up before the math chapter. Um, I can drag and drop uh, to have that viewed elsewhere. Um, and then um, similar to uh, the, if I go back to the Clona book. Um, so let's say you don't want to write your own book and you do find a book, uh, maybe it's a physics book, maybe it's a biology book. Um, uh, or sociology book. Maybe you're using OpenStax uh, for sociology and you uh, like the book, but you do want to include some of your own work. What you can do here is you can search the directory right from here. And I'm just going to put in here just to limit the search. Uh, uh, and you can see here just uh, right now, it'll show me uh, specific OpenStax uh, titles. So all these titles, I happen to know, they were all created um, on uh, Pressbooks, different Pressbooks networks, and they were uh, adaptations or straight imports of the OpenStax sociology text. So it might be this book that I want, uh, and I know that this one, uh, so I'm gonna select that book. So the clone a book feature, will take uh, the actual URL for the, the source book and it'll give me a new URL on my network. And when I click clone a book, it'll create an exact copy of that book. I'm not gonna do that because uh, it'll use up the rest of our time here, um, but that is available. And once you make a, a clone book, and I'll just go into that sociology book, now you can make it your own, you can adapt it, you can uh, add chapters of your own. Um, you can go into the appearance tab. Um, so in our appearance tabs, you have access to 21 different themes. So the default theme on our networks now is the Malala theme. Um, and But there might be a, a different theme that you want to apply to that book. So I'm just going to click on uh, the Andreessen theme. Um, once I activate it, um, that now will be the actual active theme on this book. So that'll change some of the fonts. It'll change some of the theme options. Um, so the global options, um, each theme will use maybe uh, different um, 
colors, for background, uh, for exercises, for uh, the key takeaways or learning objectives. Um, and uh, you can play around with the different themes. Uh, once I make a change to the theme, it'll be applied throughout the book. Now, once I'm done writing the book, and I've got it ready and I uh, go in and it's ready to be used with students. Again, this is where I'm gonna set that book to public and I'm going to maybe provide the export options for students. So um, one of the things that you'll be able to do is you uh, have the PDF for print, uh, for digital distribution, for EPUB, uh, whether you wanna make the Pressbooks XML files available to students or not, there won't be a lot that they'll be able to do with them um, unless they have a Pressbooks network, but uh, maybe the common cartridge with web links you wanna make available uh, so that others can import that book into their LMS. Um, and once you do that, you click export your book and it will create these uh, uh, downloadable files uh, for you to use, whether it's EPUB, the digital PDF. And like it showed on uh, this book here, um, you can always uh, make those downloads available to your reader here.